Microsoft is back in the news with some Scorpio leaks, and it might not be the way that they want it to kind of come out to you. Uh, nevertheless, we're on the message boards. We're on NeoGAF. We hear what you hear. Um, tell us a little bit about what might be happening uh, with the Scorpio. Obviously, this is all unsubstantiated. There's two different things. There, there's always there's always rumors. <clears throat> there's always speculation. Not. But now we're actually getting it from at least one hard source. Yeah, uh, involved yeah. with Ori and the Blind Forest. Yeah, Thomas Smaller. Uh, the, he's a, a dev for Ori and the Blind Forest for Moon Studios. Uh, apparently, he's been using the technology, like developing for the next box. Which, that makes I, sense. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I which imagine, makes me excited yeah. for an Ori sequel. That's the biggest thing I'm looking for. I don't. To. I don't need more death. I, I do. I need to die at least a thousand more times. <laughs> no, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> but um, no, um, and that is the first actual bit of information that we've received since the launch. But they've or, been on the, the somewhat of a media blackout. <laughs> the announcement. They have been. I, and I feel almost as though they decided to take a back seat and watch how the launch of the PlayStation 4 Pro went. And then bide their time, make adjustments, and and sort of launch the Scorpio with the benefit that they did not have of launching the Xbox One. And it's interesting how it unfolded, though, because the first thing that came out was the white uh, white page, white pages, or, the white pages, which yeah. is a weird, yeah, weird thing. Um, <laughs> it's like I'm gonna look pages. somebody up to call them, but uh, <laughs> but that when came you look out up first. Scorpio, you get to see everything about him. him? Phone it's a dude. It's yeah. just it's just full search's number. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but um no unilaterally okay. handle anything. Basically <laughs> what the white page document um hinted at is that it's gonna be similar to what PS4 Pro is as far as an upgrade and that it's gonna have their own um their answer to checkerboard rendering, which is sparse rendering and that's what their right. proprietary tech, but it's supposed to be the same thing. Um which but, let's 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 say it's it's not true four K. <laughs> but that's jumping to conclusions right. because we don't know if that's for games that were not developed in mind for Scorpio. Maybe they want they want to up some reservations, reservations, some uh, <laughs> resolutions for um, <laughs> so resolutions for older titles, and that's the easiest way to but do it. But that's kind of like Got what it. Pro's doing. Yes, that is what Pro's doing. But then later on, with the games that have been in development with Scorpio in mind, they could do more. Now you remember when the Pro launched. People. When was when that, the pro launch, there were people. It's in native 4K. Oh, that's nice. There yeah. were people in Microsoft um, saying, "Well, we would like to know how they're doing it, because we we we're not doing it that way." When they were talking about checkerboard yeah. 4K, because Sony came out and said, "Okay, you know, we're we're th these games have been upscaled to 4K, so on and so forth." They got Whatever. Sony drunk and he told them. Well, that. I, I don't yeah. remember that. I remember <laughs> when they were talking about how they did it with the. Uh, HDR. Yeah. Uh, well, no, they, they, yeah. He's, he's right. They did say we'd like to know how they're doing. Yeah. It, so, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because it all, it all seems kind of uh, abrupt where. Magic. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. We're patching in HDR, and this thing's in 4K. It'll play all your games yeah. in 4K. Yeah. I mean, like, they, they look, it feels like they're both reacting to each other. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of the way that that's that's how it is. console yeah. development yeah. really should be. Yeah. That's that's just industries that are rival, rival companies in general. What do you think is the way they should be? What was that? Because if, if, say, me and Mark are competitors okay. at anything, regardless of what it is, if Mark re releases something new and innovative that I haven't started on, in order for me to stay competitive with Mark, I have to react to that. You, you and also... that, that yields my people, like if Rick's my head developer, now Rick is studying Mark while at the same time trying to one-up Mark. I agree And then when that. he does it, Mark's going to react to that. It's good for the consumers to yeah, have the that's, same that's options. How it should be. My thing is, it's not necessarily, you shouldn't always have to be like, they did that. I can do that better. It's like they did that. We're gonna do this. This doesn't necessarily have to be that. It doesn't have to necessarily be the same thing. So it's like well, you cross the shorter bridge and then you go for the long haul. I mean, I, my my thing is like the PS4 Pro has been out for how long now? Six months. Six months. And, no, and let's no, that's three months. Let's three be months. honest about the reception of the PlayStation yeah, Pro. It's not that it's good. Not it's like, it's more. picking up now. I, I think why? that Scorpio has a better chance of picking up because it has less people that are already in the like that are yeah, already bought the in. Yeah. So they have more of a uh, yeah, shared to their benefit. Of, there's less of an upgrade and more yeah. of an adoption. It's like I I just will buy this. Exactly. Now. It's what I'm gonna do with the Scorpio to be honest. So. But it's also the reason why I wasn't so hard on, on the Switch because mm. I don't have a Wii U. Gotcha. So I'm I'm getting new titles. They're new to me. Right. You know. It's new still to me. Right, <laughs> let's go, well, baby. I mean, according to a lot of like. 
like trends in technology right now, 4K, like upgrades to 4K as far as for monitors and for TVs is on a huge upswing. It's it's up like 30 something percent. Yeah, it's also the the adoption rate is actually faster than the adoption rate for 1080 TVs. Yeah, exactly. So like this year is going to be the year of 4K. So I mean, people are going to jump on it in the beginning so. if they've got the money for the PS4 Pro and, and if Scorpio like can convince people they do it better. They're going to destroy in the holidays. I, I, th- I think that they're going to have to bring more than just specs and That's 4K. Well, they're going to have to have yeah. a beautiful game to go with it. I, I What's the game? I, honestly, well, that's a problem. I, well, I, I mean, that. Crackdown. Yeah. Crackdown. They could be. Awesome. There will not be a Halo this year, though. I, exactly. Yeah. They're, they're, there's not going to be a Halo. They're not going to do it back in Gears. That's cool. That's actually yeah. not that bad. So, it's just, oh boy. I think Crackdown has, has Forza. a chance. Crackdown's I know people are familiar with Crackdown because a lot of people bought that first game to get into the Halo 3. Beta. Forza's gonna look well, amazing. Well, remember they already said that. Well, they speculated that Forza was the 4K um, test game. That yeah. They were testing on score. It makes sense. Correct. Because they've been doing Forza. Forza yeah, sure. You can. But racing the, games. I'm tired of people talking about. Did you see how beautiful like, Gran Turismo looks in the 4K? It doesn't matter. Car. It doesn't matter. It's, it a, like it's a racing life. game. It's a racing game. It, it is a racing game, but it lends itself. The tech lends itself to other games, and that's why I care. The reason why I, I care. Yeah. Don't, this is graphic core here. <laughs> I, I care. It's just like. I don't think that you can. You can it's like not a, fair to get like a thumbnail of Joe like screwing a, like a Scorpio. This is a graphic core. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's not happening. That was out of nowhere. Turns out I make the thumbnails. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, we need to learn. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just like racing games have like you have your light reflection, your textures. That's it. There's like one or two moving things going on at the time. Not not shitting on look beautiful. Not shitting on racing games, but also shitting on racing games. Like well, well, hold on, hold on. Forza and Gran Turismo look beautiful. Everything else looks like hot garbage. So should I fast forward to the end of this year yeah. where your game of the year is the new Forza? <laughs> <laughs> I did I tell I told you earlier. You but, told me, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not playing Overwatch anymore. I went back to Paladins because uh, Paladins <laughs> is a lot of fun. But that does not change. <sighs> It does not change my my decision. I I, I think you also play something and then you want something new and then yeah. you'll flip flop. You'll be back. No, and that's why Microsoft is getting away from from Halo and Gears. Well, yeah, I think well, they've, away they've from kind of. Just, I think they've they've thrown people okay. out on that All already. Right. Perfect world. What does Microsoft launch side by side with the Scorpio to get you to buy? Um, Half Life Three. Um, <laughs> the game doesn't know how to count to three. Yeah, Nobody knows that. Um, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, didn't they say that he was working on a new title for PlayStation? I got it. I got it. You guys ready for it? Kingdom Under Fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good answer Fuck for you. Me. <laughs> Give me that, or or a new Castlevania game, or um. Um, fuck. So Beyond words, Good and Evil. So they're not two. getting your money. One of those two. Sure. Even though Beyond Good and Evil is pretty much already rumored to be out Look, of the Switch. Not, Crystal not Dynamics is not working on the next uh, Tomb Raider game. But what? Yeah. It's, uh, it's a different dev doing the Uh-oh. third one. That's not good. Well, but it could be good for me if they're like, you know what? Uh, by IDOS another, another IDOS property, <laughs> Legacy of Kane, Crystal Dynamics. Ooh, that'd be I'm nice. jumping on that train. That'd, that'd be, be amazing. Nice. So um, that would get you to buy a Scorpio? Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, um, you're buying Scorpio because you don't really have Well, it. the multi-platform but games. Have an Xbox. I do have an Xbox. Uh, m- um, multi-platform games are gonna presumably work or be run better and look better on yeah. uh, on that box. They're gonna then the PS4 Pro. Yeah, on the Scorpio. Yeah. Okay. It's it's I guess the that's possible. Are, are yeah, better, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I guess that there's no sense. reason for it to me, sense. for me to believe otherwise. Well, you say that, but if but when you're doing development, you develop for the low end, and you just kind of carry, cross sometimes. It over. Yeah, sometimes but they do it. The other but way. they're they're both on they're all on the same architecture. I, I think I think you could see um, EA games uh, yeah. look yeah. a lot better just because of the the partnership they have with Microsoft, yep. EA Access, all that good stuff. Oh. Um, there might be some Scorpio exclusive Bethesda. Um, yeah, yeah. Microsoft has been sending a lot of mixed signals with what they're doing with this thing though, because like first it was kind of assumed that they were going to get rid of the ES RAM. And now it kind of seems like they're backpedaling on that. No, so no, no, no. Have... It's it's the white pages say that they're not using ES RAM. Well, no, but those also came out after E3 last year. Yeah, in July. Right? Yeah. Um. And now they're talking now with the re- with the, some recent other like spoilers that have come out for it. They're saying that the the way the ES RAM worked with the system is similar to how the next system is is going to work. So so let me wrap it up into a bow for you. Uh, in light of the information. Whether it's true or not, 
has it changed your opinion of the Scorpio? And it is it is it something that's still on your radar uh, in in the form of a, a purchase? Like we we or at least me and I guess we I can say we like are in a weird spot where like we play games for you guys. So I'm gonna get one regardless. It's it, but it's not a matter of like. Ho ho! I'm so excited. I want this thing. It's more of a matter of like, I I'm gonna get this so that I can have an opinion. You're not gonna go to the midnight release, bro? Absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> so I, I might. I'm in that, really. I'm in that yeah. strange spot where I just always have to have the new gimmick. You I you're guess. a tech guy. You're a tech yeah. guy. Yeah, I am. I am. I can't help. You're an early it. adopter. I am too. I, I think I think it's unfair to ask that question right now, just because as somebody that as, as, as somebody that, no, I'm just saying, as somebody that does want one, I still think that there's not enough yeah. information for you. And, and we don't know if any of that shit's true. Exactly. Yeah. Let's, I mean, let's, let's just all get switches and live happy. Right? Uh, no, we're good. The big thing about Thomas uh, Mahler is that yeah. he's saying that it's going to be a next gen system. Right. And then he took a shot at Sony, saying that it's not going to be. He a said it was half ass. Yeah. Uh, mid-grade uh, console like the ps4 was i which, fucking hate that which, stuff well, but the thing is that caused another controversy against microsoft because uh they were like well are you next is it a next gen yeah. or are you not doing next gen and i i yeah. think people don't know how to define next yeah, gen right. and they're having problems understanding that well they, they talked about bringing last gen with you so is there ever a next gen or is it more like pc where like your older games can play on the newer hardware yep. uh, and that's welcome what, that's, so what Wii, said. that's what yeah. reggie's saying the we are the switch is going to do now yeah. Wait, what? It does not have a disk drive. Digital downloads, I guess? Yeah. Well, no, they're, they're, they're saying that they now have the technology to carry over your purchases. I think I, I yeah, think that was I think that was in response to virtual console. Yeah. Um, yeah. but uh, I'm, I'm not entirely like, sure. I am going to have the opportunity to get my hands on that in like 48 hours. Nice. How's it feel? Amped. I'm That's just gonna, gonna put your hands right upon it. Yeah. Take some videos. <laughs> So, Thomas Muller also uh, stated that it's going to be – when he said the next-gen gaming uh, console, he said it's just going to be a next-gen gaming system that is backwards compatible. Right. So that's what they meant by – I mean at that point because the, the, the big the big deal at E3, uh, just to wrap it up, was they, they were on stage saying we're going to put out a game for Xbox One and your Scorpio is going to be able to play it. And if you don't have a 4K TV, then you just have a really good Xbox One. But they also said that – there's going to be no game that's exclusively for the sport. Right. So it's it's interesting. So there's a lot of mixed messages right gen? now. In the light of it's this information, it's it's not. The, I think that the term gen is gonna yeah. is gonna be changed. Yeah. I, I I don't think there will be gens anymore. That's but what they were hinting at. Yeah. That about wraps up this topic. Thank you, gentlemen, for your input. Valuable as always. And we will be back. Later.